With a cough, even with a breath, there's a risk of infection. But put a mask on. And these tests demonstrate the air travels only a tenth of the distance. Even homemade face coverings gave impressive results. So, a thumbs up for masks. Well, a cautious one. Most do still leak, and we don't yet know if it's the big drops that are caught or the tiny particles that escape which spread the virus. We do not know yet which one is the most dangerous channel to generate a spread of the infection. So this piece of the puzzle is not sufficient to actually take a decision about should we use masks or not. The research also showed jets of breath are forced at speed out of the sides of masks, a risk we may all need to become more aware of. Without a mask, the risk I might present to others is in an obvious direction and people will naturally keep their distance. With a mask on, I'm a potential hazard to those behind me and they might not be as alert to that risk. Wearing face coverings in enclosed spaces is the government's recommendation, but the Mayor of London might soon go further. We keep uh, available the possibility in the future of making it mandatory if we don't see large enough numbers of people wearing non-medical facial coverings in public transport where you can't often keep your social distance. The science isn't settled on this. There are potential drawbacks that we haven't thought about. Yeah, what, what the, the experts talk about is the precautionary measure and the fact that this can be better than doing nothing at all. You're absolutely right. We must not have a full sense of uh, security. Also, wearing a mask wrongly or touching it could do more harm than good. A mask clearly shouldn't be seen to be a replacement for social distancing measures uh, or hand hygiene for that matter, because the evidence base for masks is not that strong. The evidence base for social distancing and hand hygiene to stop infection spreading is better. The research has shown the benefits and the potential drawbacks of masks. Now it's the government's job to decide how laboratory results translate into useful guidance. Catherine Jones, 5 News.